that you're not willing to change, that you're not willing to try something new, that you're not willing to sit in a different chair and see if people can hear you now. I made a couple of decisions in my life that were very, very scary. And at many times I felt like I made the wrong decision. But one thing I've learned is that each time I have chosen to change the place that I was, whether that was physically, whether that was my job, whether that was school, it gave me new opportunities that I never would have realized being where I was. And so now I speak directly to the graduates of Public Allies. And there are a few things that I want to say to you. Number one, above and beyond everything, to the alumni of Public Allies, I say thank you for your service. In 2008, I had a magnificent failure in business. In 2009, my family was going from charity to charity, begging for food. several eviction notices. Our vehicle repossessed. In 2009, I sought the help of a local pastor 
because of my marriage it was spelled. I've had major setbacks. In 2012, I had the great opportunity to raise funds to fly to Africa to meet my biological father, who I found out wanted nothing to do with me. I've had some setbacks. In 2013, I moved my family from everyone and everything that we had known all our lives to a roach-infested, rat-infested place on the other side of the country. Immediately feeling like I made about the biggest mistake of my life. I've had some setbacks. Why am I telling you this? Because I have the, the gnawing feeling that you sitting here, you've had some setbacks too. You've had some things that have made you sit down and really reanalyze things. You've had some moments in your life where you thought, man, did I make the right choice? It seemed like the right choice. But I tell you here today, that yes, those setbacks were setbacks. Yes, they made me wonder what was going on. And at times I felt like, surely I won't recover from this. There is no coming back from this. But yet here I am, but yet here I stand. And so I am here to remind you that your purpose, that your calling, that your assignment is going to have some setbacks and the road to success is not gonna be a straight line. And you're gonna look around you at times and you're gonna look for people to give you some kind of affirmation that you're on the right road. And the people you're looking for, you won't find. And the advice and the encouragement you're looking for won't be found. But in those days and in those times, it really does come into handy, it really does come in handy to say, I, I am somebody. I can succeed. And if you don't believe it, and you don't feel it, you can still say, I, I, I am somebody. I can succeed. And when you start to feel kind of funny and feel silly for saying this to yourself, say, I, 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 am, somebody. I am somebody. I can succeed. I can and succeed. when you start to feel it, Deep down in your belly, you say, I, 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 am, somebody. I am somebody. I can succeed. I can succeed. And when you really start to believe yourself, you say it again, say, I, 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 I am somebody. I am somebody. I can succeed. I can succeed. We don't get to determine the things that happen to us in this life. We don't get to determine and call our own setbacks. But what I'm telling you here today, looking you right in your eyes, is that you have what it takes to overcome those setbacks that make you sit down. And I'm a firm believer that even the most difficult to deal with circumstances are just temporary setbacks for a permanent setup. Amen. Again, public allies, alums, 